identify with passion. Even if stories about your dad should seem more hype than action. Cause we done seen every BMF film and not one slight attachment. So either what you write in Kevin, or they just eventually got rid of blackface. Michael Jackson, I was Like, nigga, what made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the... <laughs> I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I, am fla I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh, God. I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up. First off, you lost the clean, let's acknowledge that first. First off, you lost the clean, let's acknowledge that first. You was battling me, you supposed to have been battling him, and you was making it worse. You brought all the bars for me, thinking the crowd was gonna fuck with it, but it ain't work. You was Lonzo Ball out there in Chicago. You could have won, but you was hurt. <laughs> Be yourself. Don't wish you could be me. I compare it to the Lonzo Ball because that's what I see you as. A good PG. The nerve of you. <laughs> that's you know, disrespect. Like you know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and all my network partners over at Fox5NY.com. If you do not know, we just dropped the interview with beloved Loaded Lux for Fox5NY. I will be dropping the episode of Overtime where we had an extended interview with Loaded Lux and we were able to talk about a lot of different subjects, break down a lot of things and everything that he sketched about. So uh, shout out to him and everything that he's got going on. Shout out to Bullpen and the event that they just had, politics as usual. I'll give you a little bit more of a concise recap. SP will probably be by within the next day or so if he wants to go into certain battles and break them down too. I usually do a live stream like after a lot of big events. It's normally a party where we just get on there and talk shit. It'd be like an hour or two. So some people don't have the time to break down that all. So I bring you another recap where I just go through the main events and talk about everything that happened, the happenings, and what people are talking about on the interweb. Shout out to y'all. So um, Bullpen's politics as usual car went down April 26, which was yesterday, hosted by Hitman Holla. It was on Rap Grid and Eventbrite.com. Now, I got a lot of different things that I want to say about this car. Shout out to Mondale Robinson, the mayor, you know what I'm saying, of, um, is it Ironfield? Enfield, North Carolina. I believe that's where bad news is from. But anyway, um, shout out to him, you know what I'm saying. He pretty much came together, put together a Black Voters Council committee where they had a bunch of meetings, was talking about shit, trying to empower black people to do things and to be out there voting and stuff like that that really really positive uh outlook you know what i'm saying they did reach out to me it was like a wednesday through a friday i got uh school age children so you know what i'm saying i let the guys know that me personally you know what i'm saying like the way my wavelength works i can't just tell you know what i'm saying my kids and i got them too they live with me 13 9 and i can't just be out and about you know what i'm saying they got games in school so it was something i would have loved to do but you know what i'm saying i got the family life the family comes first so i it was but i peeped it SP peeped it, we did cop it, we did support it, and then maybe in the future when they do one, if I get enough time, you know, you can set it up. But the, the, the folks out there in the chat and in the comments and all that that have their kids, you know what I'm saying, they know the type of grind, you know what I'm saying. When your child like lives with their baby mama and you can see them every other couple weeks and all that shit, you got a lot more free time. But when they under your roof, like, hand out every day, oh, it's a different way to play. But, um... You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who watched the pay-per-view and got it popping with their crew. You don't have to listen to my opinion. It's just a lot of niggas do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'll give you the winners of who I thought won the battles or whatever the case may be. Because I've been noticing the thing on Twitter, right? And on different social media. There will be niggas who will jump in the comments and argue with you about a winner or a loser of a battle. That you'd be like, yo, did you copy it? Where's your pay-per-view? They don't even have it. They didn't even see it. So, then I realized that we might be dumber replying to the people who didn't even see it, you know what I'm saying? Um, going into the battle, a lot of the battles, you know what I'm saying? And I'll, and I'll give you examples, right? So Gwitty versus Super Black, you know what I'm saying? Gwitty versus Super Black. Super Black, I said, would be lit. And the funny thing is, the way that I said the card was gonna play out 
was the way that it played out. I called every single battle. I should have put that shit on a parlay. I definitely should have put that shit on a parlay. I'm mad I didn't. But uh, uh, so so basically, Gwitty versus Super Black. I said specifically, Super Black will probably be more lyrical, have more lyrics, and be the better. You know what I'm saying? Out of the pens. But Gwitty is gonna win because Gwitty is Gwitty, and Gwitty don't lose battles. What the fuck happened? Gwitty won because Gwitty don't lose battles. The nigga, I, he said some shit like, I got work from the government and I told him to send it. It's nasty paper, Gwitty. Ah, Gwitty don't fucking lose battles. I told y'all ass niggas, Gwitty don't lose no fucking battles, right? So, uh, I did see bad news. I mean, um, Super Black, you know what I'm saying, explain his side of the story, how he felt like he won, and judges and judges. That's why I tell you, I don't judge battles. I've been asked to judge 100 battles, if not one, and I'd be like, nope, 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 nope. I remember niggas was getting mad. <laughs> I should call a little whole ass nigga name out. I remember niggas was getting mad uh, that I was asked to judge a battle. Niggas was like, oh man, you gonna let him do that? You gonna let, I should call your bitch ass out, but I'm not gonna do it. You don't deserve that type of energy today. So, the, the, what goes into judging is a lot, bro. You gotta be able to like, but I, I don't judge battles. I never want to, whenever I'm asked, I'm 98% gonna turn it down. And the other 2%, I'll shift to SP. Well, I shift them all to SP. If you ever noticed when SP be judging, a lot of the times they'll come to me and ask and I just give it to him because they be bred involved and I be wanting my nigga to have opportunities. Plus, I don't want the pressure on me. I just like to talk my shit. So anyway, um, I had uh, Gwitty went into one. New Jersey Twerk versus Clone did not go down, but like I said, when I first seen the card, this was the battle. I said, we all started picking battles off these cards that was not gonna happen. This was the battle that I felt like was not gonna happen. Clone has an unbelievable amount of bad luck in battle rap. I mentioned it last night. I actually seen his tweet today where he said, he said, he said, all my motivation and love for this sh probably just ended last night for real, for real. Uh, I don't think he should like stop battling or lose love or lose admiration for the culture. It's just a lot of shit. Like it, it's like every time he has a battle, something happens. Some a big battle. Like I said, one of his biggest looks he had versus Big K. The nigga had like two, three days to write three rounds. So that's not that's a wash. And then he had other situations where somebody don't show up, somebody get sick, somebody get hit by a parked car. You know what I'm saying? And um, I did see. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The, the, they made an announcement saying Twerk wasn't going to make it for unforeseen circumstances. Next battle. What, what do you want me to say? I can't even say nothing at this point because I can't be surprised at something that I said was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even be surprised anymore. But, you know, hopefully all is well with Twerk. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to extrapolate or go too far into it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, T-Top versus Chef Tress. Um, a battle that I felt like happened already like for some reason i always feel like john john versus chef Trez already battled like these niggas is they in the south you know what i'm saying king of the south the, the biggest nigga in the south all this other shit chef Trez upstart want to do his thing um preparation creates separation you know what i'm saying i be saying this shit all the time and i really want y'all to really 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 listen because I, I was thinking before i jumped on on this joint today so i think you gotta uh in order to elevate, you gotta execute. Execution is everything, you know what I'm saying? You can have someone who's really good at something, but they don't execute it well, so therefore, the other person can get the advantage. I say that to say this, it's craftsmanship over mass production, you know what I'm saying? Like you have like, sometimes you'll see something that'll be like a piece of wood or something like that, and they'll do all of the master craftsmanship and they'll make like an eagle or whatever the case may be. Then you have mass production where everything is just rolling down the assembly line. Now. The mass production is going to be able to get everything done, but the finer, more sophisticated product is usually always going to be in craftsmanship. I say that to say this. Preparation is everything. Chef Tris came prepared. He had three rounds. He was good. He was fire. He had, he had some shit. I'm not going to hold you. All three rounds. He was rebuttaling his shit. You know what I'm saying? He, had more, he, he was definitely in a bag. But he ran into a T-Top that was over-prepared because T-Top was there, went to the conference, and found out that there was more money on the floor. Um, shout out to D.I. the Henny Man. I heard him say on the commentary that he was going to hit Chef Tress, who wasn't there for whatever reason. He was going to hit him um, and let him know that there was extra bread on the floor. And Mayor was like, nah, don't hit him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll figure out when he figure out. <laughs> he will figure out when he figure That's my type of nigga right there. He said... Close that back door, can't get snaked out by my homies. 
Close that back door. Hey, close the back door, man. I told y'all niggas, the nigga Chef Trez got back door. He didn't even know that there was extra bread on the line um, until he got there. But he did so amazing that I'm not knocking anything that he had. Chef Trez was really, really good. But T-Top was, he was different, man. He was really different, man. He was different. He, he started out the round rebuttaling. I mean, not rebuttaling, but saying how T -top, T -top, Chef Trez ain't come to the, to the conference. He said, we had steak with the bread crumbs, move with the head. Like, he was wildin', son. Yo, Chef, uh, you got air fried, but you did very well. So it's like, if you didn't do as well, this would be like a body, but I got T-Top winning 3-0. In Atlanta, too, mind you, by the way, Chef Trez is from Atlanta. T-Top gets there and gets 3-0 chance in the building. Loud, audible, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0 chance. I don't got a call. I don't got no cut with none of these niggas. You know, I tell you if a nigga won, if a nigga lost, I don't give a fuck who it is. Even rock everybody. People that you think I'm cool with like that, or I'm this, that, they lose. See where it go. I come right here and tell them. I tell them that I'm gonna tell them if they lose. Like that's the best part about it. We can't be friends if I can't. If I gotta pretend. If I gotta pretend like you won or shit. Like I ain't doing that. So, um, I had T Top winning pretty clearly. I think it was his best performance since I started jogging my memory and shit. Since self checkout and since Math Alpha. Like, literally, it's been like a five year run. That performance that he had last night is probably better than everything he's had in the last five years. And he's heading to the airport to go to London to go battle Gemini. And then, like I said, if I hope he delivers, but if he don't deliver, he already delivered. You know what I'm saying? Like, the weekend. This shit right here, he can go over there. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, hey, hey. I'm not no waste mind. All the things I've seen all the day in London. Shout out to London. Y'all niggas still ain't called me yet. That's cool too, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Make it do what it do. But T Top is probably going to go over there and do his thing there too, because he probably wants both the wins. He's he's phenomenal. Um, And I, I mentioned yesterday, I said T Top is a breakfast, lunch, and dinner MC. I said that he can. He got Chef Trez out the gate, like early in the morning, that's breakfast, he got him, bam, right in the beginning. Talked about he didn't go to the conference, was effective, highly effective, got the crowd on his side. Lunchtime, he can beat you in the second round. Second round, T-Top is continuing to go at the angles, continuing to slice and dice and wilding on Trez. Third round, dinner time, he's ready to go. He's, he, third round, my closing verse. With the basket and the casket, let him close the hearse. That's, he's definitely, that's his best rounds normally is the third. And what I will say about T-Top, it's when I thought his round was over, he just kept going and going. It was to the point where it was like, yo, man, <laughs> no mods, no mods. But Chef Trez did remarkable. Um, there's a thing where you can have an A-plus performance and someone else has an A-plus, plus, 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 plus. And I think the separation was T-Top knowing a whole 24 hours before or the night before, the day before, or however many hours that there was an additive incentive. If I was gonna go to the club, <laughs> instead of going over these raps, <laughs> if I was heading to the bar, instead of going over these raps, once you say 30,000 or 40,000 is on, I ain't going nowhere no more. D&D, y'all niggas got it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sure T-Top had added motivation. And I had T-Top winning pretty clear. Um, Tay Rock versus Loso. This is gonna be the battle where a lot of people are gonna have their debates. I seen niggas trying to debate with me online that didn't even see the battle. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Um, off of Vibe alone. Vibe alone, the vibe from what I saw. You know, I was there, you know what I'm saying? I definitely was there. I was on pay per view, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I found out a way to save $963. Clap your motherfucking hands. I saved. I saved $963 by switching to pay per view over going to an event, over a flight, over a hotel, over a rental car, over eating all weekend, over hanging out, smoking weed. I saved all of that money. And I put it, I put it away. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even have to pay for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I literally watched this joint. You know, me and SP. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's 50. Nah, it's 25. Oh, now it's 25. <laughs> so, you know, me and SP, we peeped that joint. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna start peeping a, a lot more events at home. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas used to run with the notion, oh, they scared nigga. We've been out all year. So, me seeing some events at home is amazing. I got to wake up in my crib. I ain't have to go through TSA. I ain't have to deal with sitting next to no stink ass motherfuckers on the airplane that I don't even like. Cause my shoulders is kind of broad and shit. Cause I weigh like 240. And when I sit down in the chair, the niggas like they, they and I can't sit at the aisle. And I'm, you know, it's like a little interlude. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas be like, oh, you talking about yourself, bro. Who the fuck else am I supposed to talk about? I talk about myself, SP and not things. 
So when I'm sitting in the aisle, I be sleeping, niggas be bumping, bumping, bumping me all the time. So I can't sit in the aisle no more. The middle is too tight because niggas be all over the side. And then the right side is tight because once I'm in the corner, you know what I'm saying, I start getting high. I try to turn on a little air and shit, but overall, it's, 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 it be bad juju. So I either got to get an exit roll or some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm built like that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it do it do be tough though, man. So I'm glad that I'm not sitting at an airport today. Back to battle rap. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Um, Tay Rock vs. Loso. Very, very interesting battle. Um, here's how we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I got no... I, I fuck with Loso. I was at Loso's PIA tour. I love when niggas try to be like, oh man, you don't like me. I was at... I was... When Loso... A Ward, uh, Street Hems, and all of them came through Philadelphia PA, so I was the only one in battle rap that was there. I definitely, I was right there. I got the pictures and everything. I pulled up on them niggas, you know what I'm saying, with my family to watch their tour. So I got a lot of love, respect, and admiration for Loso. In this battle in particular, I felt like he he went too far with the fucking caution and rock and all the fucking Fred and shit angles. It went, it was a whole round about the shit. It was. Rock had a lot of low flips, low this, low that, low maintenance, low scut. I, I get it. But he had a whole round full of that shit. And it was like, it was cool, but even the shit that he had with the whole round of it, it wasn't blowing nothing out the water, it really wasn't. Rock comes back in the first couple bars of his round and goes crazy on Loso. The worst ever, hurts ever. He said, I break a Christian earned and Vacuum it up with a dirt devil. What the fuck are we talking about? I know y'all niggas be doing this shit like oh y'all just be sometimes y'all don't even watch the battle and y'all say that this person won or that person won. I don't got no cut on the product. I told y'all. I done told rock battles I felt like he lost. I got no problem doing it either. If he, I felt like he lost last night, I'd tell him he lost last night. I'd be the first nigga to tell him he lost last night. Matter of fact, I text the nigga before he even took the battle. I said, you wildin' my nigga. I said, what the fuck are you doing battling both of these niggas in the same weekend? That's what I said. <laughs> and I still, I was like, yo, if anybody Ward gonna clip you? I told the nigga that. <laughs> but uh, in a in a battle with Rock versus Loso, I do have Rock winning the first and second round. Just because Rock's third was so bad and he crashed in the beginning of the round and like choked and shit, and it was like a fucking revelation. Niggas was like, yo, this nigga choked. What the hell going on here? And Rock was like, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. That really happened. He took a chest. He pulled a chest move. The nigga was his best move was a chest move. It's happening. It's like, what do you mean it's happening? What do you mean it's happening, niggas? Forty thousand on the fucking floor. What do you mean it's happening, nigga? Wonder. So, my dumb ass had tweeted after Rock's second round. Yo, Rock might be able to just walk off the stage and probably still win. This nigga got all the energy. He going crazy, nigga. What did he do when he started rapping again? This nigga choked, man. I'm sorry. I jerseyed you, man. I'm sorry, my nigga. Um, Loso had a really good third round. I got Loso winning the third round. I'll watch it again to see if that second was clear. But to me, from, like I said, energy and vibe of what was going on, it did not feel that way. I am a, I can feel how I felt. That's just my personal opinion. I've been to enough events, and I've watched enough on pay-per-view to know exactly. The only thing I miss by not being there is standing on my feet all day, not going through, T, going through TSA, and being around niggas smoking all day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, like, I didn't miss much. Um... But but Loso did good. His third round was phenomenal. Uh, he's gonna have people that feel like he won. It's just my personal opinion. I feel like Rock went from a 3-0 or a clear 2-1 to a 2-1 debatable. He makes it debatable. You create your debate. Did you hear what the fuck I just said? You create your debate. That's what you just did. I didn't do that. All I did is <laughs> all I do is bring you the news with his ghetto point of view. The renegade, you've been afraid. All I do is bring you my news, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I told you, I don't care if you get it popping with your crew. <laughs> you ain't got to listen to me. Just a lot of niggas do. Um, so I got him winning. Bad News versus Arsenal. Uh, bad News won the battle. Uh, bad News already knew the, he understood the assignment. Obviously, the sponsor who's over this shit, who's making sure all these plays and all this bread and all this shit happens. He's from the same town as him, allegedly. So, he knows what's going on. He knew the importance. Bad News is pretty good. He did his motherfucking thing. And Bad News been wilding for a while. I give him props for that. Shout out to him for winning. Um, Arsenal was straight. He knows how to bring the fight to a person. It's just some points at this point in his career, like he be having a slippy to blippy stumble fumble shit where the nigga be... You know how the shit develops. They do this shit right here. He didn't do it. He didn't pull out the phone, though, thank God. 
No, he did, actually. Towards the end of the battle, the nigga was in his phone like this. I don't know if he was looking for raps, but I hate that shit. Because if you up there getting paid for 10, 15 minutes, nigga, rap your fucking raps. All this shit is not necessary. Especially when you be seeing niggas on their phone doing this shit right here. And when their phone tilt over a little bit, you see them in the notepad. Nigga, what the fuck you doing in there? Not saying Arsenal was in there this battle, but nigga, they be, we, be, we be seeing it, nigga. We fucking see it, nigga. So, uh, oh, let's get to... Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Uh, so Remy, Remy shows up to the event, right? <laughs> uh, uh, Remy shows up to the event. Shout out to Three. Shout out to Geechee God. He was doing commentary and shit. You know what I'm saying? People be thinking that commentary is is easy, but it really isn't because you have to keep a crowd going, talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? Be funny in some ways. And Geechee God, he does great commentary. So does Three. You know what I'm saying? They was doing good. They said. I heard Geechee, because Geechee be making the plays. Geechee's a smart motherfucker. This nigga Geechee is smart as shit. When I was doing the trenches commentary, the nigga Geechee texted my phone while Bill Collector was sitting there and was like, tell Bill I'll smoke that nigga. He's smart. He, he's always watching the play. He's my man. He's going to send that message. You know I'm going to say that shit. So, um, Geechee and uh, Bill was doing the com. No, nah, Geechee and um, Three was doing the commentary and shit. Night's flowing. Everything's moving and shit. Battles was moving pretty well. The shout out to him. It wasn't no fucking hour long interludes and shit. So, <laughs> the nigga Geechee said to his man, because he had his peoples there, and I be having the same shit, smart as fuck. You got to have a couple people there that's, that's with you, that rock with you, that fuck with you, that's not on no doja shit, but they got to do the runs, you know what I'm saying? You got to tell a nigga, like, yo, yo, go get, go get Charlie, or go get me a pizza, or yo, get. they're going to do that, because you getting in, I'm getting my niggas in for free, you know what I'm saying? So, if you getting in for free, you ride with me, nigga. I, if I need you to go get a nigga, I'm not going to get up and go get him myself. So, I got, I, I definitely feel that shit. I got people to do that shit, too. So, Gotti had his, you know, his peoples, and then maybe they wasn't with him or they was. So, anyway, they went and got Cassidy. Cassidy comes over and with Remy. I'm thinking it's going to be some super hip-hop moment. They're going to get down and talk to, uh, 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 about, uh, <laughs> about what's going on in the industry and shit. But, lo and behold, I forgot that the nigga Cash just dropped that disc. On Ram and them niggas, on Easy and them niggas the day before. Did the Easy send his, run, his hitman in there? Did she run down on this nigga? Because I'm from the Bronx. I tell you, niggas, 233rd and White Plains, 2 train, right up the hill, too. I'm right there. That's where I'm from. So, I know about her. Me and her went to, I went to church in the same hood as her. You know what I'm saying? For over there in Soundview and shit. So, I know way back. Give me the keys to your Escalade. You think you cute ho? Take off them Gucci shades. I remember that. <laughs> I take your show money, take your dough money, and yap that fool, cause I don't know money. I was I was around for that, you know what I mean? So uh from what my perspective was, looking at the corner of the screen, <laughs> it looked really aggressive, man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Now they could be talking about anything. They could have been talking about the crazy puffs at, at, at Little Caesars, or she could have been talking about you put my name in your mouth, I'm crazy puff your shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But the conversation looked really aggressive. And I just was like, yo, they really not getting these niggas off the camera? Like, somebody got to <laughs> Somebody got to tap a nigga on the shoulder. Somebody got to tap a nigga on the shoulder and say, yo, y'all niggas is wildin' right now. I got people that fuck with me. I got, I got family. Like, they'll be on the stream. They'll be watching this shit. I remember one time we had a hot mic. A hot mic is a mic that's still playing while the stream is going on. So when you think the mic is off, you be in the back just talking regular, man. This nigga, God, you be doing your regular shit. If that mic is on, everything that you're saying is going to go right into that stream. So you literally have to have people that's watching the stream, that's texting your phone, yada, yada, yada. Because I remember, uh, you know what I'm saying, this just leads back real quick. I was doing a stream and I think I brought up something like about a, a battler who wasn't on the card. Somebody texted me right quick like, yo, Vada, stick to the subject. Not on no get no checking me shit, but you got to accountability. You got to have people around you that's going to hold you accountable. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a bad thing. I, I fucks with it. So, to me, it looked like a rundown. I ain't going to hold you. I, I'm not going to keep y'all niggas here, Susan. It, was, it looked like a rundown. It looked like she running down on that nigga. Don't you? You, you got to beef with that nigga? You better beef with that nigga. Don't put my name in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want this him, but this me. She wasn't going for that shit. Just my personal opinion. Like I said, get it pop with your crew. You ain't got to listen to me. A lot of niggas do. I'm just saying what I saw. They recorded. I was recording this shit while I was. I'm like, what the fuck? Is she running down on this nigga? On the on. The... 
Y'all don't know Run Down Run, man. Y'all do not know her, man. I that I'm just saying, I wasn't shocked. All I'm gonna say is I wasn't shocked. Uh event keeps on rolling. Uh we get to some of the uh latter battles of the night. You know what I'm saying? Um I, I and like I aforementioned, you know what I'm saying, the Tay Rock versus uh Loso was a really good battle, you know what I'm saying? Like even if, even though for niggas that I have winning and people I have losing, there was no really bad battles per se, you know what I'm saying? Like it really wasn't none. Um so moving along, you know what I'm saying, you got um you had uh Loso versus Tay Rock. I'm pulling the card back up so I won't be a fraud. Pull up the card, I won't miss nothing. Arsenal versus bad news. I just mentioned that I had bad news winning. Felt like he was more prepared and he knew what he was, um, you see, it's a different hunger between a nigga who's made 20,000, 50,000, 30,000 and a nigga who ain't made that type of money before. I can guarantee you bad news ain't been paid 20, 30, 40 for no battle before. Gwitty ain't been paid 20, 30, 40 for no battle. So them niggas who's getting that opportunity to see that kind of money is going to go crazy. I heard niggas in Cyphers making 5,000. Call me for a Cypher for 5,000. Y'all know I be bullshitting around with that rap. Nigga call me for five grand. I bet you I got I, I, I have a hundred bars. You crazy? Five bands? Nigga, shit. Cut that motherfucker mic on. Give me a beat. I'll be there to compete. <laughs> I probably write it. That's money we ain't seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's not going to do that? Uh, Arsenal versus... Uh, so, John John and Don versus Calico, last but not least. Um... John John and Don understood the assignment. You know what I'm saying? It was to win on bullpen versus a veteran name who's been talking shit about you and to prove it in front of the people, the masses. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of John John's battles, and I, I did have a blog about it, but I didn't. I, I did put it out. Nothing. I was talking about the narrative when Calico was like, "You don't beat anybody of any importance. You'll beat Jack Boy, Prep, Wavy, insert new nigga." Whichever one of these top three, top five new niggas jump front of John John, they not beating him. I don't give a fuck. You can then go A to Z. Them niggas is not beating him. We could just do that right now. P ain't got a nigga on that roster that's beating John John. None of them. Click this, nigga. Ain't a motherfucker up there gonna beat him. Who? <laughs> Stop fucking playing with me these days. Them niggas will not win. None of them. I seen them all. They not that they not good enough to beat him. So keep him away from them. And I said it. Um and ain't got like I said, niggas ain't gotta even rock with my opinion. It's just my opinion is just that. I don't think none of you niggas would beat him. And I can say that gleefully, <laughs> with a lot of joy. Um, he understood the assignment. He was uh, he was focused. He had good bars. He had relatable shit. Was it the craziest John John and Don in the world I ever seen? No, but it wasn't needed. Cal was up there rapping for two minutes only. One minute, 59 seconds, no extras. And at the end of every round, this nigga went out his way to make sure two minutes. I can show you how dudes kick it. Two minutes, two minutes. Even when John John was rapping, the nigga was like, man, them some long ass rounds. John John said, yeah, you got a long night, nigga. What the fuck you mean? I'm trying to smoke you. Um, Cal rapped against John John like, I'm doing bullpen a favor by coming over here and doing this. But I don't, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, Cal just had a bad battle versus Reed like last week. The nigga was doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Was he in his phone? I don't know. He probably was in his phone. Even if he wasn't, the shit wasn't good. So I don't even know. Um, but... You know, he's a cool dude, we rock with him, we love Cal, we fuck with Cal, but Cal been getting booked too much. Cal been booked more now recently than he's been booked in the last three, four fucking years combined. I've never seen a year where I'm looking at Calico book versus this person, that person. Two weeks later, he got this person. Like, he's not even that type of a nigga. He don't, and I fuck with Cal, but he does not seem like the type of person that even has the time or investment to really be watching battles and shit like that and even knowing your opponent and knowing what's going on. He gonna pop out, he gonna make his bread, he gonna make his moves, and he gonna do what he gonna do. But that nigga ain't no student of the game no more. Do he even look or present himself like a student of the fucking game that's gonna sit here on a weekend and watch five battles? He's not doing that. He ain't. I can tell you he ain't. But I fucks with him. Um, I feel like his material for John John was just okay. You know what I'm saying? He started off with the Alonzo uh, Ball, you just a good PG line. I thought that was dope, but after that, nothing. And that setup took damn near a minute to get to spit. After that setup, the nigga had nothing else. <laughs> and then, the nigga, the nigga had a mean ass stumble in the second round, lost that, and it was already down 2 0 by the time we even got to the third. John John cleared that nigga. <laughs> I fuck with Cal, but I'm going to call it like I call it. Every time, you know, 
Cal needs to not be battling so much, you know. And I know these niggas don't be giving a fuck because you know they they uh they they just do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like John John has really had two good battles in a row. You know what I'm saying? John John has definitely been um doing his thing as of late. And he, he and he won. He deserved to win. When he get this nigga on the news, yo, we gotta get John John. Tell, tell that nigga. Tell him that we got to have a conversation. Beloved just left. I know we, he, he getting one of the next seats. You know what I'm saying? He putting together some good shit for bullpen, and he just beat Cal. So we got to get him up there. You know what I'm saying? Um, we, we, he's next. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, overall, um, scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this event... I said eight last night. Seven and a half, eight is fair. Uh, I think uh, you can't have a battle not happen on a card and the card still be a 10. This is virtually impossible, especially one of the name and magnitude of New Jersey twerk. You know what I'm saying? Clone got it. I don't know who the fuck Clone got about to get, you know what I'm saying, to motherfucking make the, uh, to make the shit happen. I really do not know. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I feel like it's highly unfortunate because I've seen Clone beat a Rico, but the nigga can't get a battle. You know what I'm saying? And he gets scheduled for battles and set up for battles, but the niggas will either drop the ball, not show up, halfway show up. It's just like so much bad juju. You know what I'm saying? Clone's my fucking man. Nigga, you need me to come battle you? No, I'm just playing. I ain't battling nobody. But he, I know he does his thing in Wartown Battle Leagues and shit. He's doing his thing down there. He just had a shotgun shook battle. But, uh, you know, I, I hope the best for him. Uh, overall, like I said, Scale of 1 to 10, I give the event solid 8. I give it 8. Uh, shout out to, you know, all the bread they got put up. You know what I'm saying? More people are going to clamor to shit when there's money involved and money on the floor and shit like that. But I hope that people, you know, at the end of the day, you know, son came in, he brought a bag, you know what I mean? But that bag, that, we not, who the fuck knows how long that's going to last? You can't sit there and rely. Niggas going to be relying on getting extra bread and getting all the other stuff. It's good, but... The battle is still got to bring it. You still got to be on your A game. You can't be up there choking and stumbling. We repeat these same things all the time. But overall, uh, the, 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 the performance of the night was T-top. Cal got one of the biggest wins of the... I mean, John John got one of the biggest wins of the night because it was a much needed win and he cleared him. It wasn't like it was close and then we got to just edge it to John John. This was a very, very clear win. And it's two good battles in a row for John John. One versus Easy, and now this one right here. You know what I'm saying? That's two in a row versus very, very big names that he's done his thing in. So I'm glad to see that he's uh, continuing to uh, to elevate and do his fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wanted to be there, but and then I got you know what I'm saying. I got something coming up real soon. I got to be at. I was just in New York for Loaded Lux. You know what I'm saying? I was in Hampton. I was in L.A. After a while, you gotta be like, yo, I need a couple weekends where I need to chill. Saying, but I definitely loved and saw what was going on. And it was an event on a Friday night. On a Friday night, long live E. Dot Baby. But uh, that's, that's tough to do. But they pulled it off. No drama, no fights, no nothing extra. Everything went down. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in the city of Atlanta. But I know y'all wanted a more concise recap. When SP come by, I'm sure we'll talk about some of the battles even more. But this your man, Vada Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my network. You already know what the hell it is, man. Y'all saw us up there. You know what I'm saying? With Loaded Lux. I got the overtime interview dropping real soon. It's your man, Vada Fly. You already know what it is. Gang.